evening, everyone. I am going. Hi, to I'm Jovan. Excuse me. And I'm here to help you, you. What do you want me to do? I am Jovan, and you are Jovan. So let's help each other, okay? Okay. What do you want me to do? Uh, just stay there, and I will be the one to present. And if I say something wrong, just interrupt me, okay? That's cool. I'm giving you the floor. So okay, go ahead. Let's start with. This is the Alliance Hotel Quarterly Finance Review Meeting, presented by yours truly, yours truly. Wait, let's have a fist bump first before we start. For the February profit and loss statement, as we notice, the biggest percentage for the profit and loss is beverage sales and food costs. The variation for beverage sales is 7.59%. And for the food cost is 6%. Variance for utilities is 5.66%. We come up with a solution of... I will Jovan. say this. You got to say it. I'll say it, okay? Okay. So let's start with upselling and training. Encourages a customer to purchase a more expensive item, upgrade the product, or add an extra features to make a more profitable sale. Next one is supplier negotiation. Let's analyze procurement processes and negotiate better deals with suppliers. Next one is promotion and marketing. Next is review pricing strategy. Always review is if the price comes up or comes down. Since the utilities come up with 5.56%, we can purchase a smart equipment, which, for example, the lights comes off when no one is using it, when no one is there on the vicinity. And also monitor the equipment usage. Put the stop on pilot if you're not using it. And for the month of March, we found out that the biggest profit loss is from food costs. For the cost of goods, the variance drops to 22.29%. So me and the uh, real Joven yep. come up with a solution of negotiation with supplier. Always. We need to strictly implement the portion control, the new pricing, and kitchen efficiency. And for the month of April, we noticed that we have a big, big variance Very big. for wages that come up with 17.68%. It's too big. Me huge. and the real Joven. Yep. Come up with a solution of strictly no, no overtime. overtime. You should finish your job at this hour, and if you want to stay long, you're not getting paid. Next one is to optimize workforce scheduling. That means flexible scheduling and shift rotation. Improve employee productivity. How do we do this? By training and giving incentives. We need also to monitor the regular hours, and if possible, we need to change the menu. For this slide, we will show you how to increase revenue. First, we need to enhance yep. customer experience. How can we do that? By customer service training, loyalty the programs, programs, and personalization. Next one is expand products, service offerings. How, how can we do that? Offer new products or services, product. product bundling, upselling and cross-selling. Next one is a digital marketing and online presence. With the means of e-commerce platform, social media marketing, social and, search, media. and search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. And the last is improved product service quality, which involve quality control mm -hmm. and innovation. And how are we going to decrease costs? On top of this, we have a streamlined operations. And under streamlined operations, we have process optimization, automation, and standardization. Yeah, standardization. Next is to improve supply chain management. Under this is supplier negotiation, yeah, supplier vendor negotiation. consolidation, and inventory management. Third one is energy and resource efficiency. We should have energy audits and waste reduction. Always. The last thing is labor cost management. Yeah. Under this, 
you should have workforce optimization, cross training, and performance based incentives, like what I've said a while back. That would be all, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Any feedback or suggestions? Jump and Will can answer. No way. But I suggest do not ask questions so that we can move on. Yeah, you're okay? right. Let's move on. See ya. See ya.